Hey everyone, Micah here with Electrek, and today I'm reviewing the brand new 2020 Rad Rover Step Through from Rad Power Bikes. This bike has a ton of new features in addition to a new frame design, and we're going to check out everything now. First of all, let's check out the updates. Of course, there's that new step through frame, which drops the standover height by about 10 inches. But there's also an update to the throttle that makes it more streamlined by removing the disengage button. There's a new headlight that gives it this cool halo appearance, and you now get fenders that come standard with the bike instead of being an upcharge for an additional accessory. That piece I think is really cool actually, because it can be tempting for companies to hang on to accessories to try and squeeze out a few more bucks from a sale. But including those things in the $14.99 price is pretty awesome in my opinion, because it speaks to a company that cares about giving the customer a good experience. And let's be real, eventually you're going to find yourself riding through rain or at least puddles somewhere, and a set of fenders can be the difference between continuing on with your day or needing a change of pants. The last upgrade here appears to be the box, which I guess doesn't really matter because you're going to throw it away anyways, but I'd almost feel bad throwing it away since it looks like a pretty cool mural or something. Maybe give it to your kids as a coloring book. I don't know. Anyway, so those are the upgrades. Otherwise, you get the benefits that you've always had with the Rad Rover. There are the 4-inch wide Kenda Juggernaut tires, there are the Tektro mechanical disc brakes, the front suspension fork, there's that comfy saddle with a nice grab handle underneath it, there's the 672 watt hour battery made from genuine Samsung 35E battery cells, which if you're not familiar, that's Samsung's most energy dense 18650 battery cell, which means that Rad is basically packing as much capacity into this small battery case as they can. That makes a battery that's good for around 25 to 45 miles of range, depending on how you ride it, you know, throttle versus pedal assist, or that's about 45 to 70 kilometers of range for those of you that use a sensical unit of measure. Now powering the bike is a 750 watt rear hub motor that will get the bike up to 20 miles an hour, or a bit faster than that if you unlimit it, which I'm not sure if I'm supposed to talk about, so let's pretend I didn't say anything, okay moving on. There's of course the rear tail light that runs off of the battery pack, which is always a nice touch so you're not swapping out AAA batteries all the time. There's decent level bike parts here on the Rad Rover Step Through. Nothing is top shelf, but nothing is cheap either. Now it's a $1,499 bike, so they can't splurge too much, but everything is just fine for a recreational e-bike or for a casual daily rider or a daily commuter bike. I wouldn't bomb any crazy downhill trails on this thing, but it will be more than enough for you on any reasonable off-road trails, and of course can handle the daily grind of a street commute with ease. To be honest, even though it's a hardtail with only a front suspension fork, those fat tires work great at adding some quasi-suspension in the rear, and even softening the front up more than just a spring fork would normally do it. So the ride is actually quite nice. The bike is big, but it's still nimble and it feels good in turns. It's got decent power, but it's not overpowered either. It'll climb moderate hills by itself, but you'll want to be pedaling on bigger ones, and it's not powerful enough to get away from you. And of course there's a good pedal assist system that has five different levels ranging from barely there to doing most of the work for you. I find myself often using one of the middle levels, like three or four, to give myself a good boost but so that I'm still having to do some honest work myself. All in all I'd say that this is a great moderately priced electric fat bike. There's nothing that's going to blow you away here, but there's also nothing that's going to fail on you in the first few months like can happen on ultra budget e-bikes. You've got brand name components with mid-level specs that result in a good bang for your buck option. And for most of us, bang for your buck is exactly the kind of bang we're after. Thanks for watching everyone. We hope you enjoyed that review of the new 2020 Rad Rover Step Through from Rad Power Bikes. If you did enjoy the video, why don't you give it a thumbs up? And don't forget to subscribe so you can check out all of Electrek's electric vehicle videos. We'll see you next time.